statement from the players first, just about the experience playing here at Staples Center and being a part of this Hall of Fame event. And we'll turn it over to Coach for an opening statement, then take some questions. Um, so it's just an honor to be invited to play in this tournament. Um, four great teams play today, and uh, we're just honored to be in it. Uh, Coach Inter, and myself, the whole team. So I'm on the path of uh, USC, we're just happy to be in it. Yeah, you know, just uh, playing in here all four years, it just keeps getting more and more exciting as we go. Um, obviously, you know, tonight was a big win against a good team. And, uh, you know, we, we had a fight the whole game, and, uh, you know, I felt like we kept our composure. And it was an amazing crowd today. You know, we give a lot of love to our USC fans that showed up today, and uh, it was just an amazing environment. And, you know, it's just been it was really fun tonight. It's a great win for our basketball team against a quality team. LSU is extremely tough. They have a lot of good one-on-one -on -one players, as you saw tonight. And to uh, really grind it out like we did, uh, give our players a lot of credit. They hung tough all night, even though we were trailing most of the game until the last few minutes. So it was a great win. Question? Really for any of you, but the key there was the 13-2 run there in the second half. What was the key to putting that together? Uh, coach is just drawing up great plays. We executed them. Um, they have to play your hand. Uh, we kept on going some good. You saw what the defense is doing. Uh, we executed the plays and it happened to go in our favor. So, credit coach. Coach, what did you think about the play of Ethan Anderson? I remember last game we talked about how he was assisting a lot but didn't score. It seemed like he was getting a little frustrated not scoring early and then he ended up being like, pretty big shots really late. Well, Ethan started on the game. Slowly, uh, he missed his first four or five, I think first six shots actually, and he lost his confidence a little bit, but we all had confidence in Ethan. Uh, I thought Kyle Sturman came in and gave us a huge lift in the first half as Ethan struggled. And then we put Ethan back in in the second half, and, and that's what I, I expect as a head coach, our staff expects that, his teammates expect that, to come in and play like he did down the stretch because he's a heck of a basketball player. He makes freshman mistakes. Uh, however, uh, we have confidence and we're going to ride with our young guys because we have, a, a, we have three upperclassmen that are, are attorneys and we have all the other guys are new to our program. And, and so these two young men uh, here uh, uh, next to me lead us because they're experienced and they're seniors, but, but our freshmen have to step up and Ethan sure did in the last six, seven minutes. Coach, it seemed like you were having a lot of trouble getting the ball inside too on Yucca. Uh, what, what were they doing that, that limited those opportunities? Well, if you come down the court and just say, hey, we're going to throw you the ball, oh, the, the five defenders and everybody in the stands can see that. So they were double teaming the post. They were making it difficult. And, and so we have to play basketball. The easiest time for a post guy to get a touch is off the move. He sets the ball screen, runs to the rim, and get the defense moving. So we became a little stagnant in the first half of trying to get the ball to Nick, Isaiah, Onyeka in the post, and our, and our offense bogged down a little bit. So second half, we used a little more motion, a little more dribble handoffs and ball screening action. We ran the big guys in and out, and I thought it was very effective. And, and uh, so, uh, you know, Nick, Nick had a double-double, and uh, O ended up with a, well, a 10-9, and Nick had 14-9. and So uh, uh, they did their job, especially late in the game. Uh, Coach, you guys have a very respectable record, but you're still not ranked. What do you think a big win like this can do for your chances to get ranked next week? We take it game by game. To, to uh, be ranked, you have to beat good teams, and we did that today. Uh, we just beat TCU on the road, which is a true road win. We also beat Nevada, a true road win. It's a true really tough place to play. We have a couple of good neutral wins. So uh, we're doing our part, uh, but this is a, another step of uh, where we're trying to get to. And that's to be in position to uh, have a good record going into conference play and, and uh, keep building. For any of the players, just the neutral site games and the win at TCU, just for non-conference, how big have the, those wins been, especially tonight going into conference play? Well, to beat an SEC team that is as good as LSU and a terrific basketball team, uh, that was big for us and for our league. Uh, to, to beat a Big 12 team like TCU on, on a road game, that's obviously the same. So uh, I, I think our league uh, as a whole has done a great job in the outer conference, winning a high percentage of the games and also some big wins at, uh, at neutral sites like tonight uh, as, as well as on the road. So uh, we're just trying to do our part, uh, but we're uh, also excited about the Pac-12 because it's very deep this year and, and we have, as a conference, have a lot of big wins. Uh, for anybody, you guys have one out of conference team left. You're old team coach. Uh, 
Do you feel good where you're at right now, heading into the conference fight? Well, I, I feel great, and I'll let these guys answer. But uh, I'll, I'll be, I'll be good. good. <laughs> <laughs> to be ten and two, good, ten yeah. and two, we've had a tough schedule. Uh, yeah. so, so to be ten and two where we are, and, and have wins uh, uh, on the road in a neutral site game against power conference teams, and to uh, be playing like we are right now, I, I feel like we're a much better team now than we were a month ago, and, and uh, we're excited uh, for our next game in the conference to start. Uh, and, the, and these two, re these guys are the reason because the last four games, Jonah has played like an all-league first-team guard, and, and Nick has had huge plays down the stretch for the last few games to help us win BTCU and tonight. So if these guys keep playing like they do, uh, they have been the last four games, and, and keep leading us, and uh, 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 we feel great. Uh, going back to Ethan. Aside from just sitting down in the first half, was there a message you had for him? Did you talk to him then or at halftime? I didn't say anything to him. You know, Ethan is, is a, you don't have to say anything. He's a competitor. So you notice he came in and he just played basketball. Uh, he, 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 he used to get up at 5 a.m. or 4, 3 a.m. and drive an hour and a half to Fairfax High School. They, they live in Carson, okay, because he wanted to go to Fairfax. And he did that for four straight years. And he became City Player of the Year. And you do that, you do that with dedication, you do that with toughness. And so I don't, I don't, what am I going to tell a kid that has done that? Hey, you're playing like crap? No, I'm just going to let him be. And because when I put him back in the game, I expect him to show that toughness and that competitive spirit that he's shown his whole high school and college career. Right here. Coach, next, yeah. right here, coach. Uh, next year you have the number one recruit in the class, Evan Mobley, and you have a few other great recruits. What has been the success of such a great recruiting class for next year? Well, next year we, uh, Evan is our lone signee right now, and I can talk about him because he's signed. But I'm going to talk about the five freshmen we have now that are the fifth or sixth ranked recruiting class in the country, which is the highest in UFC history, uh, what they meant to our program. As we, uh, Joan and Nick have been part of a, uh, we, we set the school record in wins over a one, two, three, and four year period the last four years in, school, in the history of USC basketball. And these guys have been a big part of that because they've been here. So to go to the NCAA tournament a few times, win games in the tournament, go to Pac-12 championship, come in second place for the first time in 25 years at USC, which was two years ago, that helps build momentum on the recruiting trail. And that's why these freshmen uh, have come here, the five freshmen we have now, and then Evan is gonna come next year and we'll probably add one or two players uh, late. So uh, as your program gets better, you can recruit better players. And uh, Coach right here, um, talk about the importance of crowd tonight we had a great crowd the uh it's part of our season ticket package now uh, that, that, uh i think they uh, we have more fans show up uh, than we had before which is a great idea give our steve lopes the administration credit for that uh, uh we really market it and, and, and even though it's uh, not our home it's it's close enough where our, our fans could come and i thought they were loud they gave us a little energy and, and uh, i thought this was the best crowd we've been in this four straight years and the first game was outstanding and so the Basketball Hall of Fame was a great event, and I thought uh, uh, how they marketed this year was exceptional. For Nick and Jonah, it seems like over here, it seemed like that Temple game was a, was eons ago. But just what strides or what's been the biggest key to getting the big wins and everything during the past month? Um, I think just staying together as a team and just you know just working every day and believing in each other and. Uh, I think that you know when we go to practice, we really work on the things that we execute in the, in the games, and um, you know we just we just get comfortable playing with each other now. You know it's kind of we're getting into a nice little flow, um, and I think that today was a really big win. And you know this is going to give us a, a lot of confidence. You know going into Florida Gulf Coast and, and into conference. So um, I think it's just getting more comfortable with each other, and just you know continuing to work hard and just um, trusting everything that the coaches tell us and take coaching and. Uh, you know, the young guys just, you know, continue to play and continue to get that experience. Over here on your right. Uh, this is for um, uh, the two seniors. Um, you guys, you said you, had, you have a very young team. How have you guys taken that leadership and, men and mentorship role, and what kind of growth have you seen in the, your young freshman teammates, and what and what advice do you give them going into conference play? Um, just leading by example every day um, with the coverage is what is offense, defense, where we do what we do off the court, on the court, just leading by example. Um, they follow us, they follow everything we do, and uh, the freshmen have come up and learned really quick. Um, the concept that we teach at USC, they've come up uh, since summertime and learned really quick. So um, just going to conference play to tell them to keep the same composure. It's going to be a high level of competition, but just keep, keep the same energy you've had and continue to learn. Yeah, just going on what Jonah said, just you know, keep encouraging them, you know, things like that. And they look up to us because we're older, you know, we've, uh, we've had 
ton of experience here. So just do anything we can to, to help out the coaches and just, you know, lead by example. Oh, one more. One more right here. Uh, Andy, next week will be the first time you've played Florida Gulf Coast since coming to USC. What are your thoughts going into that rematch with your old school? Well, first of all, it's uh, our next game on our schedule right after Christmas, so our team has been prepared. They're gonna come out here uh, and, and compete and play very hard. And Mike Fly's a good friend of mine, and I had him on my staff, he's a head coach. And so they have a lot, they have a team very similar to ours with a lot of young players, and they're, and they're developing as a team like we are. So it uh, should be a fun game. Uh, but just because it's our old school, uh, we, we were still, my old school, uh, uh, we still wanna win the game and, 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 and get ready for it. Uh, but it'll be nice to see some uh, familiar faces on the coaching staff and the administration. Uh, they're great people. Thank you. Thank you.